Turning right, turning left, backing up, arm in the quad. Ooh, nice. <laughs> so this LED board that's included with the X210 uh, Pro Kit is a special LED board. Each of these LEDs on here can be addressed individually by Betaflight. Now there is also a button here that you can push to make the LEDs change color. And over here on this, on this side of the board um, is a little switch. And if that switch is pushed to the down position, it's controlled by this button. If you move that switch to the up position, it'll be controlled by Betaflight. Well first I'll show you how, what it does if it's in the down position, just so you can see. Um, let me get this plugged in. So at this point it's being controlled by this button. So if I push the button, it changes colors and it goes through the colors. Oh, and then it starts blinking the colors. So this is the easy way to set it up. You know, and you can't you don't really have any control of it other than pushing this button. But it does have different flash modes. There they are. That's all of them. Now that's just being controlled by the button and all you need to make this work for this is just 5 volts of power going into the LED board. Now the LED connections I have for the wires are on this side of the board over here. So if you're looking at it this way, this side has the, the wiring and this side over here has the switch. I'm going to go ahead and flip the switch and we'll show you how to hook this up to Betaflight. I flipped the switch the other way. So if I plug this in now, the LEDs light up white and you can see here it's ignoring the button presses. Well, so how do you control how do you control this through Betaflight? Well, that's the real question. Well, we have to first start off by connecting the DN on the back of this board to the flight controller so it knows what's actually going on back on the back. Now, back here, this is where I soldered on the 5 volt wires, the positive and negative. They come up here. This is an F4 board and they connect up here to the uh, first pin right here is the first pin is a ground on the outside You're not seeing this very well uh, That's a ground pin and the second one in is a 5 volt um, 5 volt uh, Output now I'll, I'll have a wiring diagram for this down in the description because it's going to be kind of difficult to see these But that's 5 volts and this LED board needs 5 volts of power so you can pull 5 volts from there just fine another place you can pull 5 volts from is up here on the front of the F4 board where your ESCs are connected. Now I have a 5 volt power cable coming in here and so all these um, spots here are all being powered by 5 volts. And right here, this is channel 1, 2, 3, 4. And then right here, this empty one is channel 5. Well, we only have 4 because you only have 4 ESCs. But channel 5 uh, is empty here and you can solder on here for 5 volts. This would be your ground wire, and back here one would be your positive wire, or your 5 volts. Now this next wire here, this yellow one, that actually goes back to the DN on the back of your uh, LED board. So in my case, I already had the 5 volts soldered on back here, so I left them there. But I ran the DN up to here. Now I could have run all of them up here, the DN, the, the, the positive and the negative, and it would have worked fine up here too. But it just needs to draw 5 volts from somewhere and then the DN has to be connected to channel 5 signal wire. Here we are in beta flight. Over here on the left I'm going to click on LED strip. Now if you don't have LED strip you have to come in here to the configuration page, scroll down here and there should be a little sw slider switch here called LED underscore strip. You need to turn that on and then save and reboot your, uh, your um, flight board and then the LED strip option will show up over here. So I click on LED strip and now I have this big blank thing of, of you know, spaces here. So what do I want to do? Well the first thing you need to do is you need to tell the Betaflight software where your LEDs are. So what we're going to do first is come over here and click on wire ordering mode. Now this LED board that is right there, it has 10 LEDs on it. So what we need to do is we need to place 10 LEDs on this grid. So I'm going to come over here to the far left side and I'm going to put 5 on this side and 5 on this side. And that's going to represent the two sides of the quad, these two LED strips. So I'm going to come over here to the far left and I move up 5 and I click on the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth one. And if you, if you look closely on your screen, you'll see these say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's indicating the first 5 um, LEDs. You can also come over here to this side now and click here and you can just drag down if you want and it fills them all in as well. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now I've, I've told the flight board where the, the 10 LEDs are located 
in regards to the um, layout of the quadcopter, and assuming that this is the front of the quadcopter, this is the back of the quadcopter, the right side and the left side. So now he knows these, these uh, LEDs over here are on the left side of the board near the back. These are on the right side of the board near the back. So I can go ahead and I can save this. It doesn't do anything because we didn't assign any colors yet. So I'm, I'm going to leave this over here in the picture so you can see it. I'm going to select um, get off the wire ordering mode. So I clicked off that. Now I'm going to highlight all of these LEDs. Now it doesn't really matter all these ones in the middle because there's nothing on them. But in, up here in the top I'm going to click on function, color, and I'm going to set all of them to red. And if I go ahead and hit save, look there, all the LEDs change to red. Now like I was saying before, you can address these LEDs individually. So I'll come over here and I'll take the top two on the left and I'm going to change these to yellow. I'm going to take the bottom two on the right and change those to yellow just so we can make sure the board, uh, make sure the LEDs are orienting correctly. I go ahead and I hit save and now we can see the bottom right are two are yellow and the top left two are yellow. Now just to make sure again I don't have it upside down, I'll change these two on the top left to purple and save and there you can see the two on the top left turn to purple. So now I know that this side is actually in relation to these and these three or these five here are related to the five LEDs over here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change all these back to red because I like red. <laughs> and then I'm going to take these just the top two and again I'm just selecting by dragging. I'm going to change the top ones to to white because I think it's cool. Okay. So now you can see the top ones white and all the rest of them are red. When you're flying in the air, the easiest colors for other people to see are white. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to make it so that when it's sitting on the ground, the LEDs are red, and once I arm, they turn white. Well, I'm going to take the three on the left and the three on the right in the middle, and I'm going to change these from their function color to function arm state. So then I'm going to click on the arm. I'm going to click, make sure that says, make sure this one's white, make sure this one is red, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this and to save. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug the battery into this quad and we should see these LEDs change color once it's armed. Let me go ahead and unplug this. Here we go. Plug it in. Okay. Now if you're going to test this, you need to take your props off, but because I don't want to, I'm not going to right now. So here's the uh, LEDs and you can see, well maybe you can't see, but the middle ones are all red. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to arm this and the middle one should turn white. And so there they all turned white and it's a lot brighter. Disarmed, they're back to red. Armed, they're back to white. And that's because we set them up that way in clean flight. So another option we have is we have, there's some other things you can do. I'm going to highlight all of the LEDs and I'm going to turn on this Larson scanner. And this is like the kit car from um, Knight Rider. So I'll go ahead and hit save. And now you can see the LEDs over here are kind of, well, it's rebooting the board. Hold on. There it goes. It's, um flashing the LEDs back and forth and it's, it's scanning through LEDs 0 through 9 and going and then going back backward. It's kind of cool you can still arm and disarm your quad and have the LEDs change color if you want. Another thing we can do is highlight all the LEDs like we did before for the Larson scanner and instead of choosing Larson scanner we can turn on indicator and this says use this position on the matrix. Now the um, because of that, it's going to assume that this back, bottom left side here is the left back of the quadcopter. This is the right back of the quadcopter. So I go ahead and I turn on the indicator and I go ahead and I hit save. If I push right on the aileron, the right side starts to blink. If I push left on the aileron, the left side starts to blink. Forward doesn't do anything. Backward makes them both blink. And they're actually blinking a little better than they are showing up in the video. But they, it, uh, what this is really doing is just acknowledging that you are moving your stick in different directions. And it's kind of cool. I mean, it looks cool. A lot of people like that one. In fact, that's what I actually am going to leave on because I like that one. Now, there's some other options inside here that you can choose from for what you want your LEDs to do. You can set it so if your battery gets low, your um, LEDs will will uh, start flashing. If your RSSI gets low, it'll start flashing. I don't know why that'd do any good because it'd be so far away. But it also has a few other things. A ring is if you have um, a little round set of LEDs that are usually on the back of your quadcopter. If you tell it it's a ring, it can do cool things like just make it spin around in circles and stuff like that. 
So once you have it all done, go ahead and hit, go ahead and hit save, and it's going to save it all to your quadcopter. And next time you're out flying, you'll have a lot, a lot cooler quad because you'll have LEDs on it that can flash around while your friends are flying around without their LEDs. And when you turn on your uh, blinkers, they will be able to see that kind of stuff inside their um, goggles. And hopefully it'll make you look a lot cooler <laughs> on their video. And you'll be able to pick yourself out of it. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, you can try to leave them in the comments, and I'll try to help you. I'm not real good with these LEDs. I just figured it out here not too long ago because I got this, this X210 Pro. And uh, anyway, any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to help you out as best I can anyway. And as always, thanks for watching.